when we talk about uh, uh, low code and Python, the question that I get all the time is like, hey, it's not easy to find developers. Uh, in low code, you don't have this problem. And then we send back, hey, you already have this problem with low code as well. Because if you want to build complex automations in low code, you need developers. So yes. if you already need developers, why are not using yeah. Python? And, and you need and then, specialized ones in that specific tool that you are using that moment right there. And then you start to get a problem because if at any point in the future you decide like, uh, this is not working for me, I'm going to change my tool. You're stuck. Because the conversion for that, the migration the structure that you're going to have to do it's going to be a, it's not even a, mass, a massive one. It's not going to be a gigantic one because it's not going to be easy or fast to do it. Yeah. Most of the people that are watching this, they are thinking about first coexisting local platforms with Python. They are thinking about migration later. Maybe yes, maybe no, but they are looking to yeah. the same. So we are hearing everywhere now that Python is, 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 is a new trend for the automation. So. If you can yeah. give one one final remarks to the audience with that would be great. Well, uh, let's see. What I would say is like today, uh, in our previous years, low code, no code started to grow a lot, and still growing. Okay, I don't I don't deny that as a fact. I study and like them. And I support those type of tools, like they are great. But one thing that we cannot deny is that as we go further down to 2023, and we already seen 2024 ahead, people inside the inside companies, they are going to they are already getting used to Python programming languages others uh, programming logic so they start to understand the details of it for instance like you're gonna build a power bi dashboard you can use python now microsoft introduced introduced uh python for excel you can you're gonna be able to use python in excel so those areas are basically business users so what the 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 big ones are doing is like giving people like okay so if you learn this you can get more out of these two They're, you already done control and dominate you are top of it so and with that people are actually being like, okay so i i control excel i'm i'm good I do everything I need, but Microsoft now is allowing us to use Python. Hmm. <laughs> Let me check this out and then start to learn because like, because it's not a language hard to learn. Python is not. It's no. one of the easiest languages to learn, actually, Yes, because it's very straightforward. That's it. It's almost yeah. like plain English. So exactly. So you don't. You don't. It's not like, uh, for instance, like C. C. C is a language. Is a amazing language, but it's a, a lot harder for normal users to learn. For sure. For sure. But you don't have that same learn curve with Python. Yes. These days, like you go all over the internet. You already see like kids like 10, 15 years already coding about like come on. You can learn. That's a that's a fact. So as more as we progress into the future, that will be a reality. Programming language being piped or not, okay, that will be a reality. So integration is a lot easier because you have APIs, you have connections, you have 
database internally and externally. You, you make everything is easier and you do not depend on, uh, on a specific connector or something built on a specific thing. It's basically spiking. You have a, a gigantic community all over the world. Like, think of something that you want to build or something you want to interact. I will, I will almost like guarantee you, if you look at that search, you're going to find someone that already built a, lib a library for that. Unless yeah. it's a specific system that run inside your company, just for you, it you probably has find already, anything. Already, you find done, anything, yeah. already done it. Yeah. 